Today we are going to be talking about the NFL and who are the top four teams in each conference. I'm picking for the AFC East, the Miami Dolphins, and the AFC North, I'm going to keep the Baltimore Ravens, and the AFC South, I still think the Texans are going to win again, and then the AFC West, the Kansas City Chiefs are going to rise up on top again. All right, I will be doing NFC. For the East, I think this one's pretty easy to guess, the Philadelphia Eagles. They did a great job this year, and even though it might have not come well to the end, I think they'll be great heading to the year. For the West, this is going to be a hard one. There's a lot of great teams in the West. I'm going to go with the 49ers. I feel like they've developed a lot as a team, and it's going to help them a lot. In the North, this is another really tight one. And I'm going to say Detroit, but if Dan Campbell decides to be super risky, some other teams like the Bears or Vikings might have a chance. Because the Lions are a great team. Dan Campbell has done an amazing job to help out that team and get them far. But his own risk catches up to him, and they lose games from it. So if that happens a lot this year, I would consider the Packers and maybe the Bears as well. So the South. The South has been a very, very bad division in like the past couple of years. The majority of times the teams are finishing seven or nine and nine and you know, something like that and making the playoffs. And it's so bad that only one team for the conference, the division can actually make the playoffs. There are past two, three years it's been Tampa. But how we saw with the draft, it could be really anybody. The Carolina's developing a little bit, but I wouldn't consider them. I would either say Tampa or Atlanta maybe would uh, win the division. Any questions for you? Uh, why would you think that Atlanta would win the division? Well, they did a good job this offseason. They got some good players like Kirk Cousins and some other death roles that I think can help them out. Blue shirt. Do you think Campbell, do you think Bryce Young could make a push like if he can improve off this season uh, um, to possibly win the NFC South, which is the overall pretty good in the NFC South? I think Bryce Young is a good quarterback. He just doesn't have the team. It's hard for him to play with a team that doesn't really have that much experience playing with each other and they don't have that like core that all the other teams have. But if they could eventually get together, I think Bryce would be a good quarterback. Why do you think the Packers and Jordan Love would be able to have a better chance of winning the division than the Minnesota Vikings? Well, the Vikings are great, but the Vikings also kind of fumble it sometimes. And the Packers have shown that they are great in the clutch situations. They almost beat the 49ers in the divisional round last year in the playoffs. They were a seven seed. They might have gone through because they played the Cowboys, but they showed in that game that they have a chance to compete with some great teams. Well, after the trade of Stephon Diggs to the Texans, the, um, I think Josh Allen lost a lot of good guys. Like lost, him, like the, basically he was the one wide receiver that was really carrying their team, and I feel like that they're gonna kind of like finish like third or fourth in the in the division. And I just don't. I think it's just gonna fall apart for the Buffalo Bills here, and Miami's like the only team that's like really a contender anymore for the playoffs. This is another question for you about the AFC Gears. How do you think the Jets will do this season? When this last season they finished seven and ten with no Aaron Rodgers, do you think they will improve with like Aaron Rodgers? I think they're going to do really well. I think my goal for them is to go at least nine and eight here, and just try to pinch their way into like a divisional round. But I think that's all. That's as far as they're going to go. Uh, well, I do agree that uh, Stephon Diggs is probably the Bills' best receiver. He kind of fell off uh, in the second half of the season. So, like, how uh, I st- and then the Bills drafted like a uh, like, uh, stud like Keon Coleman. So, do you think Keon Coleman would be able to like replace Stephon Diggs? I don't. Since Stephon Diggs has played in the season or played in the NFL a lot more. Um, I think Keon Coleman will just not be able to rise up to the 
level that Stefan Diggs played as. And that will wrap it up from a sports broadcast radio. Thank you. Woo-hoo.